Okay. Okay, so here we go. We've got some axial plans. Uh, and we've got some inverteds here working on um, some Olympus IX-71 inverteds and we've got more axial plans and we got got some axial vert 200s and got an axial scope here and we've got some other uh, axial vert 200s anyway let's look at our our axial plan 2 imaging now this is the newer version compared to the version that doesn't say imaging and this is set up for DIC and I've currently got a DIC prepared slide on it and I'm running um, a special type of a, a camera that gives me this monitor uh, with an output on it and I'm gonna I'm going to show how all these adjustments are made on this uh, microscope. Okay, so I need somebody holding the camera here. Okay, what we've got is a cheek slide. Uh, just simply by taking a toothpick and taking the slide and a cover slip. Now let's show this. Slide and cover slip and a toothpick. You scrape the inside of your cheek, you get the epithelial cells, and we're looking at that on the screen, and also in the view, well, the, the binoculars. Okay, I can, I can move it around. Let's move it some. You can see the nuclei here. Now here's the adjustment for the DIC. Currently we're on a plan Neofloor 40X, and this is the DIC prism for the objective. And watch what happens as I rotate it. Uh, it'll go from a positive bias to a negative bias. And we see we're getting a lot more contrast right now. Uh, now we go through a, a pseudo dark field phase, which is what we're entering right now. Okay, I'm going to call this more of a positive bias on this side. If you look at the nuclei of my epithelial cells, here's a nucleus, here, 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 and here. Okay, see they're, they're, they stand out at you, being a relief just like an Egyptian relief on a wall where it comes out at you. So now if I keep rotating, I'm gonna see two things happening. I'm gonna see my, my shadow on one side going to the other side and I'm gonna see what's sticking out all of a sudden, here we go, pseudo dark field to the other side of it and it tends to be cratering. Here, here's like a good crater. So it's like a volcanic, uh, like a volcano and a crater depending on which side you're on here here it's definitely cratered in and i got to do a little more focusing here let's see these are pretty parfocal what i'm seeing in the eyepieces is pretty parfocal with with the camera the only thing is on my eyepieces i'm actually seeing a lot wider view the camera has a small chipset and so it's, it has a very small view that it's seeing. But in these eyepieces, it's a much more beautiful open view. And I do have a reduction lens on here. That's helping me some. But I really need to change this reduction lens from a 0.63x to something like even a 0.35x to help uh, the extreme reduction, to reduce the extreme reduction of this uh, camera. This is a camera that's built in uh, integral to the screen. Okay, let's just move around and see what else we can see. Okay, and then let's adjust this. Okay, going for more of a negative bias. And let's see about our condenser. Opening and closing the condenser will have some effect. Get a little a little more contrast in here. See, I can get extreme contrast if I want, but what happens is I start to lose resolution when I do that. So I don't want to do too much extreme contrast by closing down my iris. I want to do more contrast with the natural DIC. And now we're going into that pseudo dark field. I'm going past that position and I'm seeing, 
I'm seeing the nuclei kind of come out a little more at me. Now let's change it from a 10, this is a 40X. So I want to change it from a 40X plan neofloor to a 10 plan neofloor. This also happens to be a phase. Let's take a look up here and see what we've got. Let's, uh, well, I can see the nuclei. They're really, really tiny in here now because remember, you're at a 10 power. And I'm just going to turn it the full way. We're going to go through the pseudo dark field in here right at this position and then go to the, the negative bias on the other side of it where it's like they're, they're cratering in to the uh, end of the screen. They're, they're, all, they're all cratering in, like pitted, like, like craters on the moon. And I'm gonna turn this again, and, and they're gonna start coming out at me again, like a volcano. There's a pseudo dark field setting, and here they're coming out at me. They're sticking out. Now let's, let's just move our position on the slide. This is a bubble. I did a real quick, I didn't do, take the slide specimen very well, um, just a bubble, air bubble is what this is. Let's go to some other areas on it. Even on an air bubble or, or other artifacts in here, we can, we can see our 3D effect of of whatever it is. More of a dark field here, going on to the other side. Okay, now I'm going to change it. Actually, while I'm on this, this is a phase. And it's a pH 1 phase. So I'm going to change this over to a phase. Let's do a phase. Okay, we're on phase right now. And that's all you're going to get. Phase is nice, but phase leaves a lot to be desired. I'm seeing some contrasting. So what I want to do is I want to turn it from a phase. Now keep looking at what we're doing here. Now we're going to turn it over to DIC. Okay. So now we're on DIC. And we're going to turn it back to phase real quickly here. So see, you're seeing something different. Now let's turn it back to DIC, and I want to go to I want to go to some of the epithelial cells and look at them. Okay, they're out of focus right now. Let me. Okay, now I can see some very good detail in all of these cells. Every one of these. Are a cell. Now, let's uh, let's turn this to phase. There's phase. Okay, with phase, I don't see nearly as much detail. I do see a nucleus, but I don't see the finest details. I just see more of an outline. So there again, that's phase as DIC. Really fine details. All right, now let's um, let's turn it back to the 40. I do not have a 40 on here that's phase. I could put one. I've got one sitting in a in a box next to me, but I just it's not what I grabbed when I set this up. Let's look at this uh, on the 40x again, and then let's start seeing some different contrasting. Here we go. Now these are these uh. Nuclei are really showing up. Adjust my condenser some. Okay, let's see what else we've got on them. Some pretty good fine details. Okay, so I, I like what I'm seeing. Now, it's not a phase, but I'm going to show you what bright field looks like. Here we go. That's, uh, that's more of a bright field. 
okay? You, you don't see the detail. You see some contrasting the way I've got this. And the reason why you see a contrast is because I've got my condenser turned down. But if I turn my condenser to a normal setting, that's what I've got. When you turn your... So let, let's turn it back now. I think that was the... I'm going to get confused on which setting to, to turn it to here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're back to our, our DIC. Okay, go ahead and cut the video.